Hello everyone, I'm Dragonwolf and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. When we last left off, we were trying to figure out the mystery, mystery, uh, geyser. And we're also having issues with our food. I just realized, I looked up here, I'm like, <gasps> our food, we need more food. So today, what we're going to do was two things. We're going to see what the mystery geyser is. Not to mention that, we are sort of going to... Take advantage of this geyser down here because it is producing copious and copious and copious amounts of carbon dioxide. And because our plants do tend to live in, and thrive in carbon dioxide with a producer, uh, you know, air pressure of very, very high. So what I'm going to do today is we're actually going to set that up to where we're going to get. We, we I just realized and just looked. We have the we have the means to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a gas pump down here. And hopefully I can get it to, to go somewhere here, or put it here. Might actually be better put it there. Yeah, put it there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run these pipes up our ladders in the base. And then we're going to push this into our our areas here like so and we're going to use a gas vent gas vent why you ask i mean we could use the you know the high pressure one but the high pressure pushes too much i mean and we don't want it uh, spilling out here where the maximum pressure of these are only like a thousand uh kilograms or a thousand grams so that should keep us you know nice and safe and what we're going to do here is we're going to Look at the energy on this. It's 450 or 480. So we can actually use the wire or the, the pieces from here. We're just going to go straight across and then follow the route back down. Give this bad boy some power. And then what I'm going to also do, because I want to not like pr pollute this down here with more carbon dioxide than I know what to do with. I want to make sure it's a concentrated amount. I'm actually going to deconstruct that and I'm going to put a door there. Um, uh, a manual airlock door so that way we can keep some of that pressure inside because right now it's already I mean I could just leave it open I don't yeah I don't see why we couldn't leave it open because it is concentrated right there uh, so that's another thing that we need to do begin we need to do it quickly because I do not want my f duplicates dying due to the lack of food so we're just going to set all of this to nine and hopefully they can get it done quite fast. And look at them, look, look at them go. But I mean, yeah, it does take away from this for a little while, but mostly it's just the diggers. We're having issues with, uh, or, or our diggers need to get up there. Uh, rather than build, we just have, you know, digging issues. So yeah, we should be okay. Uh, speaking of jobs, uh, I realized last episode, looking over the footage, that there's a bunch of a bunch of them like architect here hey he can be promoted let's promote them like there's no sense in putting them and leaving them there yes they their duplicates desor you know need better food but i think that only a tier uh, acquires like stress but if you don't give them the food they want they just get more stressful now if we find it that we're having issues with stress management then i'm just going to back off so that way you know they don't um devon uh, that way they don't start, you know, going crazy and having issues with stress because I can't manage it because we only have two, um, two massage tables at the moment. So Marie gets to go up two, get her to the level two gopher. Uh, let's see, there was a few more nails. There's nothing much I could do for him, but change his profession. Uh, nails, what do you like, sir? Uh, what does nails like? He likes the... He likes to dig. I uh, wonder if I can actually find him. Nails, 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 nails. Uh, vitals, research priorities, uh, vitals. Let's look at nails. Let's look at his bio. Uh, tenured scientist, uh, does it tell me what he likes? Skills? Uh, his traits? Tells me all that. I guess I just have to go through and find what he likes and don't like, because I don't see... 
Personal interest. He likes to dig. Okay. Okay, so that's where the personal interest is. So he does like to dig. So I actually just found a job that he actually likes to do. Uh, and we do need a little bit more diggers. And because he is a tenured scientist, he actually keeps that job. So we can actually start flip-flopping our, our duplicates. Once they it reach this max level, or what I assume to be the max level, we can switch them up and be like a different tier thing. So Nails, you're our tenured scientist, but let's go and put you on digging as well. Uh, and he can also perform the scientist's job. Now, I don't know if they, they get a debuff from not being in there. Uh, I imagine they do, because this one gives uh, the plus two to learning. But if he's already max learning, there's no really point to... Let's see, Nails, let's see, where are you at? Uh, Stinky Ellie Nails, he's at the bottom. He has 14 learning, so he's he's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good, so, yeah. Alright, you guys still good? Yep, they're still good. And we're almost done. We're almost done. And they're just getting all this taken care of, so how's our oxygen? Doing good? Yep. Some areas are lacking, but it is, it is a, you know, an evil that we must combat. Because that air is still breathable. Oh, wow, there's polluted oxygen in there. I did not know that. Uh, but that polluted oxygen will eventually get wind up down here. Uh, we could probably, um, oh, some of this is barely breathable. Yeah, the, they have a bad time when they have to go to the restroom. Ugh. I don't know what else to do unless I put, like, a carbon skimmer down here to suck some more oxygen down that way. But with the way we have things going up here, we're going to have carbon dioxide floating down. But it's a, it's a necessary evil, I think. Uh, because we do need this to be to work. So, how's the priority going? It's doing good. It's doing good. All right, how are you guys doing up here? You're, you're working more on what I'm told you to do. So, But like I say in last episode, I tend to... I am, like, severely looking really hard now to see if there's, like, any any neutronium anywhere i may like you guys might have like expert eyes than i do because you know i'm not used to seeing neutronium just in the middle of nowhere but uh if you do spot anything by all means let me know don't don't just let it sit around like because i i'm i'm blind as a bat when it comes to seeing things that could possibly be right in front of my face so yeah all right so let's look at ventilation is it it's it's a clean Wow, they, they did it. So it is going to pump up there. And the cool part about this, though, is that once this once this gas starts getting to a pressurized amount, the gas vent stops. Uh, unless they change the way the gas vent actually works, uh, it should just stop it all together, and then the gas will get flowed back. So this looks like it's going to be very, very good. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Uh, and I've noticed that some of this heat is being, you know, taken out of here. But uh, it is, you know, only been there for a little while. I might try to pull some of this cool air this way by removing all of this heated abyssalite. Uh, so that way it just, it will keep things cool over here, naturally. Um, and I might also put this in an insulated like an insulated bubble because as you can see right here the heat seems to have like a line that it follows uh so i might need to to heat this like we just got the fact of insulated tile so i might sit there because i see this is hot this is 96.2 degrees most people is not not very hot but like if that just stays there too much there's a chance that it might like start you know heat deathing our base uh putting things like this in there I might need to get rid of those batteries, honestly. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so how are we doing up here? Oh, we're suffocating where? Alright, get, get out of there. Get out of there. There you go. There you go. Get out of there. And I may need to start putting, like, algae. Algae places. Well, I mean, this is just pure hydrogen up here, though. Oh, boy. Oh boy, I I can't see. Ah. I wonder what's there. That's really really weird. 
And yeah, I can't I can't think uh, of any other way to keep this uh, keep this from being you know not dormant. That it's usually when they when you find a a, a water geyser, a steam geyser, it just just produces just like crazy. Uh, but this one, it doesn't seem to work all that often. I wonder, uh, is there a special way to make it not dormant? I don't know if there is, but now this is complete. I don't know why that button even exists. Uh, what is this? A natural gas one. Ooh. That is awesome. Uh, so now that I know it's a natural gas, I need to block it off. Block this off so that way we can actually use it if it starts producing a lot of, uh, of gas. And then we can have our gas generators, like, in this area here. Like, has, like dig this out here and have, like, a big gas power plant over here. That would be cool. So that way we can have power if we need to. Alright, guys. Stop, uh, stop suffocating. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. That actually might, it's not a bad idea, because not only that, we get a bunch of this iron. Alright guys, come on. I know you're going through chlorine, but you guys are okay. You're okay. Just start suffocating, you'll just back off. You'll be okay. So, let's change the priority of this back to that. And then let's put this back on... Like that. Hopefully they can reach that. I imagine they can. Uh, speaking of which, last episode we got to a point where we uh, we were started making a bunch of that. So they finished that. So stations. Uh, suit forge. Uh, how much power does it take? It takes 480 watts. Mm, how much is on this line? 720, and that is 2, 240 on that. So if we don't run this and we don't run that, we should be okay. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a suit forge here. So that way we can start making the uh, exosuits. So that way they can, you know, be comfortable up here. And once we start getting exosuits, we can um, make a set of like three or four. Um... And uh, start getting them to go into the nasty places. Go over here uh, and dig some of this out. Put a pump over there so that way we can start pumping some of the nasty out. Uh, make a hydroponic farm. Go ahead and start that up over here. Uh, like so. Get a hydroponic farm going over here. Uh, let's put that on a low priority, actually. So that way they don't actually, actually go do it until I get the, the stuff needed for it. Uh, so that way we can start uh, using some of this water because Thimble Reed, although is really good, we can also make things like other foods. Um, like we start looking in, well, I need to, I need an empty. Where's a good place to put that kind of thing? Um, we have, where can I do this? Just build that there and then I'll press O. Put that up there. So that way I can actually see what can be grown there, what can not be grown there. And I don't think... I think everything that can be planted in a planter's box can actually be planted on a farm tile. And then everything that can be planted on a farm tile, not necessarily all of it can be planted on a hydroponic. Uh, but hydroponic is usually those used for things that need liquid, like sleet wheat needs uh, water. Uh, pinch of peppers need... Um, Fertilizer of phos uh, phosphorite and uh, irrigation with polluted water. I might actually start a pinch of pepper farm too. Which uh, what do we? What does the air pressure need? We need 95 between 95 and 85 or 185, uh, and it has an eight. Ooh, domestic of eight growth cycle. Oof, 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 oof. All right, so let's go ahead and get all of. Oh, uh, that's they can't probably can't reach that. Um, we'll probably make a pinch of pepper farm over there, so that way. Uh, how much phosphorite do we have? Uh, agriculture. 13 tons of phosphorite. 
Nice. So let's take a quick look of what we can use with a pinch of pepper. Uh, that's bristle berry. Uh, pinch of pepper and meat make uh, barbaco. Uh, peppered bread, which is sweet wheat and pinch of pepper. Uh, bristle berry and pinch of pepper make uh, stuffed berry. Uh, I don't know bristle berry. Do we even have any of that? wonder what the, the the growing conditions of bristle berries are. Because they would actually be better food source if we can get a bunch of them. Um, we can make fungi blossom seed. Grows into a bristle berry. Uh, it needs uh, light. Oh, right. That's a food that the you have to actually make a greenhouse that has light. Uh, and good ambient temperature. You know, good air pressure. It takes water to do. Oh yeah, no, we're not. We're not up to that right now because we still need to figure out how to get this thing here. Just stop being un. Uh, stop being so undormant. So it erupts every 884 seconds. Active period 70.1 cy uh, cycles. Every 142.7 cycles. Ugh. Next activity is 48.3 cycles. Oh, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. We're going to have to find a different way to get water. Uh, probably just tear down an ice or make ice. I don't know if that's actually a, a, a solid thing. Oop, we have a food shortage. That's not good. But hopefully, I fixed the issue with this. Like, everything just push over there. Push over there. How's our temperature? Our temperature's getting hot. Oh my goodness. Uh, may have chosen wrongly when it came to, to building the, the food places. So our... It's the temperature that's having the issue here. And I don't know how to fix that. Other than putting maybe like... Uh, let's see. Insulated tile... With uh, what is this? Igneous rock. Like that. So it encourages the heat in here to disperse. I uh, also want to do that. Uh. I always want to try to keep things nice and compact, but it don't always work. Oh, I might have to move move my food production. This is probably where it will be. Um, drats. Yeah, we're going to have... Okay. So, you guy here. We're going to have to go back to mush bars. That's the only bad part about it. We're going to have to go back to mush bars a little bit before we actually completely run out of food. What is in here? Pinch of peppers and lice loaf. So we do have some pinch of peppers. And you guys are not producing any eggs. Why? Do they not eat? I mean, I've added extra critter feeders in here, but they, they're not eating. That's really weird. All right. Uh, so we got reed fibers and that. All right. So let's queue three exosuits. All right. We're getting we're getting a decent harvest. Hopefully, I'm I'm hoping that putting these uh, thermal tiles up there will actually eliminate our heat problem because that is what's causing this issue. So let's cancel that. And put some thermal tile in here of the same igneous rock because it's slow heating. See, the, that's the cool part about it, though, and I'm thinking here. It says slow heating, so it heats up slowly. But how well does it cool? Does it cool rapidly? Does it cool fast? I don't know. That is an interesting thing, That uh, interesting question I'd like to... to ask people like does does it cool fast even though it's slow heating 
And I mean, I know when it says thermal reactive, it basically, if it's cold, it's cold. If it's, you know, not cold or hot, it's hot, basically. Uh, it, it pulls the ambient temperature in and and does its thing, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. We're, we're getting a lot. We're getting a good harvest today. So hopefully doing this with the thermal shift plates will continue to get this heat out of here because it's so, it's just teeter-tottering, right? It's just like right there, right there. Ugh. 88 degrees on that mealwood, and it needs to be 86, so it's two degrees off to being good. So hopefully if I if I put this down here, I might need to put a wheeze wart down here as well. Or move to a place that is more, uh, see that wouldn't work because it's too hot. Uh, probably get up here and, and dig all of this out. I don't know. I don't know. I just, we just got to figure something out. Got to figure something out. Alright, so how's our oxygen up here? We're doing good. Oh man, we're, our CO2 is getting uh, hypothermia. Get out of there, girl. I didn't tell you to do that yet. Alright, I'm canceling that. I, d I did not want her to go down there and do that yet. Oh, uh, she was trying to be happy. She was trying to make me happy, though. Oh, she went to the bed. Uh, yeah, we need to give her care. Yeah, we need to give her care. Oh, there's something I almost forgot about that. I need to put... Um, a mess table in here. I think it really doesn't matter anymore. Otherwise, it would say on here that... Wait, wait. Missing mess... Okay, apparently that's not a, a... Okay, so apparently that's not a thing. So, build this quickly. Build this quickly. Could have swore it was a... It was a thing. I don't know. Now, they're slowly getting that done. Slowly. How how conductive is carbon dioxide? Heat specific heat conductivity is 1.0. Thermal conductivity is 0 0.0146. So not very well, if I'm reading that right. Might dig down and put another wheeze wart down here as well. Or put one on this side, because there's nothing here. I haven't put anything there. We'll try we'll try one method at a time. That's the thing. We'll try try one method at a time. This is I don't want I don't want it to get messed up. Alright, thermal tile that up. That way, because that, that is touching, so it's gonna be it's gonna get heated up. And then they're basically doing that. This is getting done. It's just, it's barely just popping out the heat. Barely. I might need to move this. Even though we just got it built, I may need to move it away. Either that or I need to be learned or, you know, taught how to deal with heat. Uh, the only way I've ever been known to teach, uh, deal with heat is put a uh, wheeze wart there in an area. Uh, and then just... That way. Uh, by the way, what temperature is down here? It's really cold. Actually, broom temperature down here. So that's not an issue. That's like super hot. But this one is, is not that bad. Pipe is blocked. Yeah, it's because it's going through there. So at least we got the pressure right now. That's the cool part about it. We've got the pressure up. How, when do you stop working? I don't know. All right, it looks like our heat is dispersing here. Slowly. Now, it may be just my eyes playing tricks on me though. 
but it, it looks like this this is starting to turn more and more warm rather than like what this is is hot so hopefully that'll keep that that'll fix everything if not I'm gonna have to find probably move move our food production because yeah without food our colony dies How's our how's our temperature in here? 87. And it's hot because of those batteries. I mean, there's just patches of heat everywhere. I could also put a fan in there, a thermal fan in here to cool this down more. Uh, let's see. Utilities hydro fan Minus 80 kilowatts uh, heat duplicate operated. Yeah, let's put that, put that there, and then put one there. I don't know if that would work. Probably not. I'm probably wasting my resources putting it there. Yeah, and I see small glints of heat coming through here. But it's getting dispersed, so... Why are you heating up down here? Oh, it's heating up because... It actually is producing... CO2 now. So, let's look at the... Ventilation. So, that is pumping out at... 235 wow wow no 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 do go no 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 deconstruct that deconstruct that that is just way too close and then we'll move it um we'll move it like down here scalding yeah yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry get down here so they can get down there so apparently from the time it goes from here down to here it go it, it has time to cool off temperature wise should I should have looked at that so let's go ahead and run the plumbing gas pipe and then power Whoops. There we go. Oh, wow. I wish that one did what it, uh, like, CO2 when I wish it did the, the, what our cool vent would do. But scalding. I'm sorry, guys. Just need to get it done. Just get it done. How often does this rupt? Every four cycles? Next Dharmacy is four cycles. Uh, it rupts every 100... Uh, every 152 cycles. So it's not that bad. But... Alright. Ventilation. That. And then power. Look it up. There we go. Hopefully that's better. Hopefully that's that's a lot better. Cause I don't want I mean now that I've actually got that temperature in there, I may not even need to actually put more in there because it's actually at a stable actually stable right now. So let's let's just cancel that for now. Let's have them build the wires and stuff to it. But uh, I'll just cancel it for now. What's what's wrong with you, May? Are you okay? Your health is okay. Why are you you're holding your breath? Why are you holding your breath? Oh, because you're in the CO2. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a place for our CO2 to go. Yeah, it's not very good. Yeah, we're our base is filling up with CO2. Not good. Not good at all. Hey, we're starting to fill up. Where is that coming from? Airflow tile. 
I guess it's just a build-up. So... Let's get plumbing. Use this liquid here. Pump it out. Uh, power. Rocky, where am I going to pull some power from? Um, how much is on this lot on this wire? Energy. 780. I think this only pulls. Uh, how much does a, a liquid pump do? 240. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. I'll just put it on, on that circuit there. Because this won't run forever. And I need to go. Oh. Like that. And then... Plumb it out. What am I trying to accomplish here? I need to put a skimmer somewhere. That's what I need to do. Alright, so do we have oxygen? Do we have the skimmer yet? No, we don't. We might need to look on look into getting the skimmer. We're so close. We're so close. But I may have wind up getting them to do it off camera and then come back next next episode because yeah, we're we're starting to suffocate under our own means. Um At least this got back up and we're just like I said, we're just worried about our temperature now. So Alright. But thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did see something that I, I missed and that needs to be replaced or fixed or something needs to change and I just basically am oblivious to it, by all means, let me know. If you know how to fix our heating issue, our, our hot spot area up here for our food, uh, again, let me know. I will be more than happy to... Um, <laughs> I'm ecstatic uh, and bait, uh, wait for with uh, wait with bated breath. Uh, to try to, you know, see how to fix that issue. I may, if I fixed it correctly, then awesome. If not, then, um, yeah, we might need to, to work on it more. But we just did get the carbon skimmer. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna work on getting this up and running in the next episode. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, questions, or concerns, by all means, use that comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you, and I do reply to every single comment. Other than that, thank you once again for uh, coming by and, and enjoying the video with me. If you if you do enjoy oxygen, uh, oxygen, <laughs> oxygen not included, almost said oxygen engineers. But if you do enjoy that, if you do enjoy the series, by all means, you know, let me know how you think with the you know hitting that thumbs up button, hitting that like button. And letting me know. Other than that, thank you everybody so much again for watching. And until next time, see you later.